When it comes to design, you've got to remember there really are no rules. It's just all about showcasing your personal style. I'm Amanda Forrest and I've teamed up with interior finishings company Matree to take you on a design journey. We will provide you with tips, tricks and design inspiration so you can achieve a look you'll love in your home. Today I'm going to show you how to accurately measure a room. Step one to any how-to project is learning how to measure the space. There's an old saying that says, measure twice, cut once. First, we need to talk about tools needed to measure a room, a tape measure, a pencil, a pad of paper, and a friend. Having an extra set of hands is always helpful. I have a friend and contractor, Jeff Hobson, who's coming along to help me out. Hi, Jeff, how are you? It's so nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Well, I need to get this room measured, so I'm hoping you can help me out. The three easy steps for measuring out a room would be, step one, draw out the floor plan. Step two would be to measure the room, start on one wall and work yourself clockwise or counterclockwise. And step three would be to note any features on your drawings, like window openings or door openings. From here, we want to draw out a floor plan in detail to measure out the room that you're about to tackle. Did you do your homework? I actually did, but I'm a little worried that it's not fancy. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. We're just taking rough measurements. Where do we get started? First, I'll give you the end of the measuring tape. Mm -hmm. so you can walk it down to that corner of the room and go up over the lamp post there. Okay. And tight to the corner, we'll take this measurement of this wall. We got 122 inches. From here, we want to measure the room, starting on one wall, and work yourself clockwise or counterclockwise, and work your way wall to wall to wall until you've tackled all the walls and note down all the measurements. This way, you have a starting and end point for all your measurements taken. Next, we're going to take the second wall measurement. All right. That is a long one. And we have 284 inches. Write that down. Next, we're going to do the fireplace wall. I'll take the measuring tape. You run that end right down tight to the corner. 277 inches. Tips for measuring a room include writing down each measurement as you take them, that way you're not going to forget them. Making sure your measuring tape's pulled tight and straight along the wall when you're taking that measurement, and just being thorough on all your measurements. Step three is to take into account any features within a room, either windows, door openings, or bump outs within the room to make sure you're factoring the right amount of trim for the space you have. considered installing crown molding in this room, but I'm a little intimidated because I'm not sure exactly how to measure when I've got things like this fireplace and those pillars over there. Can you give me a few tips on how to accurately measure for crown molding? When measuring for crown molding, you need to take in consideration features within a room. Look for any obstructions. So here we have your fireplace bump out. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be able to take the measurement from the right side of your fireplace to the outside wall, okay. from the left side of your fireplace down to your pillar there. If you have an architrave, that's mm -hmm. a piece on top of your window there, mm -hmm. we need to measure from there to the top of the ceiling to make sure that the crown molding you select is actually going to fit. And if you have any pillars or arches where you're going to be running crown molding around it, you need to factor in for outside minor corners and allow that in your trim measurements. In order to measure out baseboards for a room, you need to factor in any obstructions you may have within that wall. I wanted to know about ordering the right amount of baseboard and things I might need to consider. Can you give me some tips to take to the store with me? Again, just like crown molding, you want to watch out for obstructions to get the right length you need. Here we're going to take it from that pillar edge right over to that far wall. Okay. Two, you need to watch out for any obstructions like electrical outlets. And if you have a high baseboard, make sure it's not going to hit your actual electrical outlet. Oh, and right, because it would kind of cut into it then, right? Absolutely. Oh, that would look awful. And three is if you have any heat registers or floor mm -hmm. vents or wall vents, that you make sure that the height is not going to obstruct it as well as the distance off the wall. Okay. So I've got a question about the second wall that we measured. Okay. It pertains to installing wainscoting. If I want to order the right amount of product, how do I know how to accurately measure when I run into an opening such as this window? In order to measure for chair rail or wainscoting within a room, you need to deduct any openings you may have on that wall. Here we can go back to our drawings and look at wall number two we took for the baseboard measurement. And we can actually take the opening measurement, take the width of that, and actually subtract it from the baseboard measurement. Okay. That'll give you the linear feet we need to order from Wayne Scott now. With regards to um, measuring accurately for an opening like this, or what are the things I should be aware of? Because this wall looks like it's got a lot of things going on. The main obstructions, again, to watch out for is that you have any electrical outlets okay. or vacuum outlets that mm -hmm. your casing you pick, width-wise, is going to make that clearance. Right in here. Absolutely. Okay. 
The other thing you want to note is actual height and width of your opening, so you're ordering the right amount of casing okay. to be able to cover that area. And the final note is to watch on the inside of walls if you have it tight to the wall that you're allowing mm -hmm. enough clearance from the wall to where your casing is going to go install. Oh, I see. So kind of here and, and right around how this wraps around yes, the corner. Yeah, for sure. Okay, that's great advice. You've been so helpful and I really appreciate your time today. Well, I hope it helped. Thank you.